So I got a Dixon Zero turn this morning, uh, having some issues with getting the blade off. Now I've got a nice big DeWalt 20 volt. Uh, I run usually a six amp hour battery on it. You know, it's a nice large impact. Pretty much never gets back down from anything. But every now and again, you get those difficult ones that just do not want to work. They don't want to come off even with a large impact like this. So I, I've learned over the years a lot of different tricks to do this. I'm going to show you a few of those. Now, normally uh, your first instinct is to go grab just a huge uh, um, breaker bar and get as, about as many extensions as you can on the thing. Now the other two came off pretty easy, but that far one just isn't wanting to do it. So, you know, normally people will go grab your extension, something like this, you know, and, and hook it up so you've got just all kinds of link to it to get as much leverage on it as possible. Uh, get it all up in there and you know, you're putting something like a block of wood in here, you know, just to kind of cam it up and then you're going ahead and trying to loosen it. Now that's all, all great, you know, it works well if you're wanting to put some brute force into it, but a lot of times if you've got health issues or you know, can't do those things anymore, um, that or you just don't have the strength to do it, even with a bunch of, you know, this is just a tire iron and a couple other things on a breaker bar. Uh, if you can't get that done that way, I'm gonna show you the easy way to do it. Now, uh, it's not too difficult to do this way at all, and it almost works every time. So a lot of people just don't think about it since it's uh, a nut on the outside. Now what I like to use is map gas. So this stuff gets extremely, extremely hot real quick. Uh, they use it in plumbing and different things like that, but it gets extremely hot, extremely quick. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and heat up the nut in order to expand that metal and get that taken off. Make sure I got a good view there. Looks like I do so far. So right now, if I try to take it off with this impact, thing normally again just takes everything off it's a great impact it's got a full charge battery I guess it's only got two bars now but still plenty of juice to get that thing taken off if it was gonna come off with an impact so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and heat it up around and we're just heating up the nut at this point you don't you want to try not to heat from the bottom up you don't want that shaft to get hot as quick as the nut does careful when doing this obviously if there's a bunch of grass build up or anything up here uh, if the flame's gonna hit it on the back side this stuff ignites all that type of stuff extremely extremely quick so be very careful and be mindful of that you don't want to start a fire under the deck it usually goes out pretty quick but it depends how much stuff you actually have down there so what I'm doing is just kind of slowly rotating every little bit and getting the whole outside of the nut here. You want that whole outside edge all the way around the nut. You want that heated up. Now you can use propane gas on this, but the problem is it doesn't heat it as quick. So everything kind of heats up at once. It'll heat that whole shaft up at about the same rate. We just want the nut to heat up at this point. We don't want anything else to heat up. Now you don't want to get it extremely, extremely hot. You just want that nut hot. So now we're going to go ahead, put our impact back on here. Right off nice and quick and easy. So that just saves you from having to put the brute force into it, from having to mess with a bunch of extensions or a huge breaker bar, you know, a lot of work into it as opposed to just a quick heat up with some gas. Now, if you don't have the map gas, like I was saying, you can use the propane, but the propane, you're gonna have to be real mindful not to heat up that shaft, because if you heat it all up, it's just gonna be the same thing uh, as what you started out with. If both of them are heating at the same rate, it's not gonna do anything for you. So, uh, again, with the 
big old breaker bar that's great to use sometimes in certain instances but the map gas is going to be the best quickest and easiest way to take something like this off and you're not causing any damage now if you sit there and you heat up that that nut for a long enough time you're eventually going to heat up this whole shaft up through and you could do some damage to the bearings especially if they're, they're sealed bearings up top but normally that's not going to be an issue you know we probably you know ran that gas for i don't know i'm estimating 30 to 45 seconds maybe a minute you know as far as heating it goes it's not a whole lot of mass to it so it doesn't take too long but um if you heat it up too much be aware you can ruin some things also again be aware that you don't you know like stuff like this up top stuff like this that'll light up so quick and start burning and if you don't get it under control real quick you're going to run into issues start a fire you know something like that so now i've got you know these blades off i'm all set and ready to go all i'm going to do is go ahead and throw these back on all set thanks for watching like and subscribe